This is us working on a really tough wall crack. This has been done several times in the past, and the same crack has been fixed several times. So now we've got to clean all this mess off. It's got a layer of tar on, it's got a layer of hydraulic cement, it's got a layer of aluminum siding. The rings in there. You'll see. Okay, go ahead. Say tree root. Tree, tree root. root. Yeah, it's upside down. No. Is I upside down? Lots of tree roots. Okay, tree roots. Tons Did you say you found some tree roots in there? Oh, tons of tree roots in there. Oh, God. Opening the crack wider. Look at them all. Probably why they put it in there. This is a very complicated crack to fix. As a matter of fact, the uh, further down we go, the more complicated it gets. It has a very large pocket at the bottom for collecting water. It looks like you could probably hold a quart of water down there. Anyway, it's a big failure, so we have to tear it out. Normally on a crack, we don't have to do anything. Just install our ports, clean it up a little bit, inject everything, and we're done. This tearing out stuff is not part of the deal. This is where we start getting into extra money. Yeah, let's say there's a great big hole at the bottom. That's all filling up with water. Oh my god. Yeah, bit of it. You've done this. They're not working very good right now because they're all plugged up. I bet you'll find a plugged up hole there. That hole we definitely gotta get full of plug. Try to cut this out, I do, don't I? Well, yeah, that's two by two at the bottom. Yeah. Go grab a hammer sozzle, do we think? Remember I wanted to.